Young teenagers could soon get the COVID-19 vaccine. Currently, only people 16 years and older can get the shot. But the U.S. Food and Drug Administration is expected to authorize Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine for 12 to 15-year-olds in the coming days. In tonight's Health Beat, Lauren Solick talks with pediatricians to find out what parents and kids can expect. According to the South Dakota Department of Health's website, more than 14,500 children in the 10 to 19 years old age group have tested positive for COVID-19 in South Dakota since the beginning of the pan pandemic. Pediatricians at Sanford Health and Avera Medical Group say getting that younger teenage population vaccinated will help us in reaching herd immunity. Though most kids who test positive for COVID-19 have mild symptoms, doctors say some do have prolonged issues. They also can transmit it to others. Um, if we can get um, middle schoolers, high schoolers vaccinated against the disease, um, it just kind of takes another um, vector away from where um, the virus can um, be found. Both Dr. Rick Coima with the Vera Medical Group and Dr. Santiago Lopez with Sanford Health have heard concerns from parents, one of them being whether or not the vaccine can cause infertility. That's been shown not to be the case, and um, I would certainly recommend um, both men and women, boys and girls, to get the vaccine. I don't think there's um, evidence out there that supports that there's any concern with that. Lopez says the technology behind the Pfizer vaccine has been around for many years. The science is really sound and clearly after millions and millions of doses around the globe and in the United States, we haven't had any signal of any really serious adverse effect of the vaccine. So clearly the vaccines are safe for the for the population. Lopez says he listens to his patients and their parents and does what he can to try and reassure them. I don't just dump data to them. I actually say like, I actually had the same question myself. And then, uh, you know, I uh, looked it up and this is what I found. And, and I took my decision of getting the vaccine and, and suggestion to my wife to receive the vaccine, to all my family to receive the vaccine. Lopez encourages anyone who has questions to talk to their doctor. Now, Dr. Lopez says a lot of research has gone into making sure the vaccine is safe for the country's younger teenagers. You can hear more from him on those clinical trials under this story on Kelloland.com.